can shoot another gun, I'm gonna hit someone else. I'm just gonna keep the motor forwards, wait this out, and uh, we gotta get a bigger anchor. That is not good. I'm on the way, it did not go well this morning. I woke up and I was bang, bang, bang. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, so I was, um, I hit bottom. We turned around and apparently it was more shallow there as Navionic said, and I was just banging on the bottom. So <laughs> I pulled up anchor a bit earlier. It was low tide, but still it's not very, uh, I don't think it's gonna actually hurt something, but it's not, not nice. Goodbye my friends, we'll see each other another time. This is not good, engine heat up, all the antifreeze is out of that, I didn't install the new heat exchanger, that's strange, I just dropped anchor, I need to check this out, cool down the engine. I just got off the phone with Keith, Keith uh, if you've seen my earlier videos of, of, of making the boat ready you know what Keith is and he's always been ready to help me at any time and it's just I could not have done this lifestyle without friends like Keith uh, so what apparently happened is apparently I had to put antifreeze inside the uh, heat exchanger before putting it in because now there was a vacuum and then um, the antifreeze won't go through and the engine actually pushed it all out anyway long story short I put antifreeze in the in the where the pressure cap is put the pressure cap on but not fully tight so kind of loose that air could still come in but tight enough that it wouldn't like jump off and then ran the engine and I ran it for a while and I took it off filled it up again and now it seems like the heat exchanger is full and it is fine and we can continue and one more mistake um, I put the wires that go to the motor wrong so <laughs> I put the autopilot on it to the uh, it would steer in the opposite direction so I also changed that I'm all the way northwest in the Bahamas in the Abacos and I waited here for parts to arrive because a bunch of things were broken. Fixed those in the last video. Now I'm going back southeast in the Bahamas to see more of the Bahamas. You and Reggie, the buddy boat I was buddy boating with, uh, they're gonna stay here. They're going to Florida to fix their bulkheads. And uh, if you have a house, then you know you probably have a washing machine and you know your garbage bin you put once a week on the street and uh, you have unlimited water. I don't have those things, so first for continuing, I'm gonna make a stop to do all those things. We got some rain coming, that's for sure. I dropped anchor before the rain starts, that's good. Ah, uh, so usually with this clouds, a bit of wind will come over uh, for a bit. So I'm just gonna wait to see if I'm not uh, dragging or something for uh, either the rain starts or I go do laundry. I'm just gonna make a coffee and wait this out. I think I'm slightly dragging, that's not good. I might put the motor on and motor forward so it keeps going like this. I am dragging to so have the motor in forwards to make sure that I'm not gonna hit someone else. I'm just gonna keep the motor forwards, wait this out, and uh, we gotta get a bigger anchor. I just pulled up anchor and I'm gonna relocate the boat because I'm uh, afraid of hitting them. I re-anchored the boat, I'm soaking wet. Uh, at least if I would be dragging now, there are no boats behind me. There's a CQR anchor for sale here, which as far as I know are not the best anchors. But it's really cheap and it's twice the weight as I have now. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna buy it for temporarily.
This is uh, Donnie's Marina. I've been here before and I know he has a CQR for sale, uh, 45 pounds for 60 bucks. And I, I didn't want to buy it because I actually want to have a decent rock now. I just rather spend and a bit more money and have actually what I want instead of doing it half. But now when I was dragging again, it's like oh, that $60 temporarily going to give me peace of mind. There it is. It's a little rusty. Uh, it's uh, 35 pounds actually uh, that's 10 pounds more than mine uh, I think this is a very good temporary solution I'm tired of dragging all right got the anchor now on the way to the governor's dock because there they have free filtered water and then uh, go pick up the laundry from the dryer After Hurricane Dorian, Water Mission has uh, set a filtration plant here because uh, fresh drinking water was a problem and uh, it's been there ever since. So nothing better than nice, clean, fresh drinking water. Just picked up the laundry and I actually still wanted to continue to Marsh Harbor but it's 26 nautical miles and it's curved and I cannot sail because the, there's a little bit of wind but in the wrong direction. So it's already 12.30 now. I don't, I don't, it's, I might make it before dark, I might not. And there's actually no point, like for, why would I rush there? There's no point for me to rush because I actually really have nowhere to be besides you know making an, an exciting video every week traveling and uh, I think I had enough excitement for today so there might be another storm later so let's just go put on the other anchor That was a fit, I need a shackle. It is a beautiful sunset and I am on the boat with Lisa, Victor, Jules. I met you guys when I was going on my way back from laundry and we're eating at Colossal Crab. Colossal Stone Crab. Colossal Stone Crabs. <laughs> Thank you guys for inviting that. me here. You're hey, welcome. You're welcome. Our pleasure. Yeah. It's been very informative and very entertaining hearing about your life story. Thank you. It's been actually very enjoyable and um it's been a long time since i've heard a new story so i love that <laughs> good morning i have a big hangover drinking coffee it's early in the morning let's go anyway today I have to motor but uh, life is good like when nothing is breaking and it's calm weather like the flat seas yeah like you gotta cherish those moments you know like, yeah life is good
Just arrived at Marsh Harbor. Marsh Harbor is over there. Um, there's a boat yard over here. I'm gonna try to park the dinghy there and then walk to the supermarket and to the marine store. Uh, I changed back to my 25 pounds um, Manson Supreme anchor because whatever I do, I cannot get the CQR dig in. Just keeps dragging it over. Must be something with the soil here. Oh well. At the boatyard they wanted twenty dollars. I was like, nah, nah, I don't think so. So I tied up here at the uh, public dock. Let's go. Number one, the marine store. I am lucky because they are closing at two, and it is ten minutes before two. I did not know that. They had, uh, they had nothing. But what I was looking for, uh, one of the things is my navigation light, the red and green on the front of the boat. It fell off when I put on a new anchor or I pushed it off, so I have to make a temporary solution. The supermarket is really, really big. I expected it to be, I heard stories that it was quite a bit cheaper here, but not really. Shopping done, there's a bit of wind. You can sail. Now I'm gonna find a, a nice anchorage for the night. Only another 12 miles. Uh, it's flat sea, so I'm not gonna take the motor off the dinghy. I wanted to anchor over there for the weekend wind, but uh, it's a little uh, wavy. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go to that cove. Seems to be more protected from the waves. Checking if the anchor is dug in. It was not dug in, so I've reversed on it harder. So let's go check it now. It's a little better, but uh, I want it to be in for the wind that's coming. So I'm going to reverse on it even harder. So only the point is in of the anchor, but I know whatever I do, I put the boat in full reverse and a neutral and a full reverse again. It does not drag, it does not move. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe I'll dive there and just see if I can kick it in a little more with my feet or something. This is a cove and um, originally I wanted to go over there tomorrow, but yeah, the holding seems to be really good here. So maybe I'll stay here. There's a um, apparently really nice dinghy rides over there, so I'll go there tomorrow. It's been a while that I've been at an uh, anchorage, but no other boats. Just uh, me and nature. It's nice. Not all the time, but uh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Tonight for dinner we have fresh vegetables, or at least once upon a time they were beans in tomato sauce and tuna. Mmm, yummy! Good morning! When I was trying to put on the other anchor, uh, the cap of my red and green light flew off. So temporarily, because I can't find one here, I'm gonna use a, a green bottle. Um, yeah, to still have the green and red light. I cut it to size and now I'm coloring one side red. All right, and this is the result. It's all nicely duct taped together. I wouldn't necessarily cross the Pacific Ocean with it, but uh, I think for temporarily, it's pretty good. My next project for the day. The electricity on one side of the boat, lights, everything, didn't work anymore. Tracing all the wires for the last few hours and to find out that none of them are the wires that I was looking for. Apparently they go on the other side of the boat. And it looks like I found the issue. Was that it? Yeah. 
Behind my engine is a stuffing box. Let me see if I can uh, show it to you. It's really difficult to get to. To get to it, I have to climb through the engine and then it is, um, you know, over there in the middle. The stuffing box is leaking when I'm on anchor and it's not supposed to. It's supposed to drip like once every minute when the engine is running. Um, yeah, a bilge pump goes off twice a day on anchor, which is not good. And when I motor, it's even worse. It's like once every one and a half hour. There's a seal in it, which I have to replace. But once you open the thing up, then uh, a lot of water will come in. And I want to I, I wanna do that when there's somebody that can help me. I, I now, For now, I'll just tighten it a little bit and hope it's a little better for now. Uh, what the heck, I changed my mind. I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna cut those to size. When you open it up, there's supposed to be three seal rings. I was expecting when I opened up that a lot of water would come out. And actually, uh, the, the back seal ring stayed stuck against the back of the shaft and stopped the majority of water from coming out. So um, I tried to get the two other seal rings uh, from inside the stuffing box out. But I couldn't, so I decided to only replace the front one. This is how the seal looks like. And when you cut it, you make a circle and you cut it sideways. So it seals on top of each other. It's good enough for now. I'll uh, I'll do and uh, make it a bigger project in the future. It's a lot better than it was. Okay, let's clean up. Work's done. Let's do something fun. Let's go explore the area. Oops, I touched the bottom. I think everything is okay. Let's continue. It's a little uh, shallow, uh, this part. It's beautiful here though. 